the key to understanding where to place your anchor points when you are drawing a shape is dividing the outline into sections. Where you have straight lines, it's pretty easy to divide because you place an anchor point anytime the line changes angles. So you could clearly see that the corner point is here, 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 and so on. So you click where you want to begin your path and then you move to the next corner where the line changes direction and you click there. If you have a straight line, you want to hold down the shift key to make that line straight. Then you go to the next corner and so on. You just click at every corner to create the outline of your shape. If you have a perfectly vertical or a horizontal line, you want to hold down the shift key so that your line you're drawing stays perfectly vertical and horizontal. The difficult part is figuring out where to place your anchor points on a curved line segment that doesn't have corners. If two curved line segments are connected with a corner, like they are here, 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 and here, where it's pretty obvious where the corner is, that's where you place your anchor points. But when it is a continuous curve like that, or like this, it's a little bit harder to figure out. So the curve changes direction, that's where you wanna place your anchor point. So this curve, if you follow it, it goes in the clockwise direction, and this one goes in the counterclockwise direction, and the next one goes in the clockwise, and the next one in counterclockwise. So every time it changes direction from clockwise to counterclockwise, that's where you want to place your anchor point. I'm going to start by clicking and dragging to get the direction handle. And then I'm going to go along the curve and see where it starts to change direction, which is usually the flattest part of the curve. And you can see that it's curving, 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 and then it starts to change direction. And this is kind of a the flattest area, same over here. It gets a little flat right before it changes direction. So that's around this area is where you want to place your anchor point and then drag the direction handle that creates that curve. Now this one you may need a little bit longer handle so you go back, click and drag to make a longer handle and then click and drag to make the next one. And if you don't get it perfectly, to begin with, that's okay, you could come back and fix it, or just press the command key, which will give you the selection tool, and then you could just kind of fix this on the fly as well. And if you let go of the command key, you go back to the pen tool, and you could continue drawing your path. And then over here, you want to hold down the Option key because you're making a corner point. And again, you want to hold down the Option key. This one will split into two curves because it's kind of big. So it will be somewhere over here will be our corner point, I mean our um, anchor point. and then hold down the Option key because this is a corner point. Hold down the uh, Command key to get Selection Tool so I could fix that curve on the fly. This direction handle is too long for this little curve, so I will click and drag a shorter du direction handle. Now this direction handle is too short, for that large curve coming up. So click and drag to make a longer direction handle. Again, this one is too long. So I go back, click and drag to make a shorter one. And then make sure you come back to 
where you started.